All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have a bunch of uh, just miscellaneous stuff. Uh, we're gonna continue working on this Mustang. We have drive shaft to install. We have brake booster to install. Um, my shifter isolator cup. That's the cup that uh, sits right, uh, right beneath the shifter. Uh, we got shifter to install. Um, and just uh, just the running of some more general wires. I want to run a wire from the starter inside the cabin so that um, I can run it to a switch and then we run the switch back to the battery so we can start this thing by switch from now on. Or at least even if I don't have a switch lying around here somewhere, I can at least touch the, that wire to the battery and it'll start it. So um, with all that being said, let's get started with the drive shaft. Let's get on with today's video. Okay, so first things first, this is the drive shaft from the Marauder and the 4R70W's um, input shaft for, or at least the output from the uh, transmission to the drive shaft is smaller than the um, output for the TR3650. So I picked up this used drive shaft that we're gonna be using and installing today. Uh, it's held in by four 12 point bolts i think these are half inch or 12 but um let's get to installing this thing adding that piece of wire that comes from the starter solenoid up into the cabin so that we can touch it to the battery in here and start it from inside the cabin instead of going under the vehicle. So there's a bunch of this um, wire harness from the Mustang itself. I'm just gonna pick a pretty thick enough wire and we're gonna go with that. All right, so let me get this thing to focus. Just got the wire wrapped on the terminal for the uh, solenoid, and then it runs up into the firewall and in the cabin of the car where the battery will be sitting. All right, so back to my brake issue, my brake booster. This is the get you guys a good shot of this. This is the V8 brake booster. And if you notice, it's much slimmer in stature than the V6 one and that is solely because um there's not a lot of room when it comes to these four sixes in these um new edge mustangs and you need this one to be installed to get um to get the motor to clear so i'm going to be removing the steering wheel and installing the brake booster and um when i'm done with that i'll show you guys how it looks it was a pain in the ass to install because as you can see it's a very tight fit but brake booster installed in the next video, I'm gonna be installing the power steering lines for it and connecting the power steering to the pump, the, the lines to the pump. Inside, we have the steering wheel finally up and um, in our position. I thought it was um, the little joint for the steering wheel, I thought that was gonna be hitting on the header, but it's actually in the perfect position not to hit. Um, I wanna put a battery in this thing, crank it up, and let's see how it runs again. So, so far we did the starter wire, the brake booster, the steering wheel. I wanted to do the shifter today, but I have to fill the transmission with oil first. 
um, I also have to do my power steering lines in the next video so I'm gonna be putting fluid and everything in the next video and, and hopefully in the next video she'll be moving under her own power so let's put a battery in this thing and crank it up let's see if the wire that we run is gonna be sufficient for starting the vehicle Alrighty, so moment of truth, battery is in. I'm trying to take a seat in this chair even though it isn't bolted in. Oh man, that feels freaking awesome to be able to finally sit in it. There we go. So all the pedals are finally hooked up. Let's get it to focus. Clutch brakes gas so now I'm just gonna put the key in ignition turn it forward and this wire over here this thing wires for the fuel pump just gonna hook that up and now this is that starter wire <laughs> not starting all right so key on and
so while working on this Mustang just now, one of the worst things that could possibly happen did happen, which is it caught fire and it's gonna be a major setback to get this thing running again. Let me show you guys the damage. So right here is where it caught. Fuel line comes up, goes here. Fuel line busted off. Fuel dripped down to the exhaust. The exhaust blew it underneath the car and fire raised up. Burn all the wire harness, burn all the vacuum lines. Basically burn everything that runs into the car. So the wire harness is probably junk now and cannot be used anymore. And this motor has to come back out and we gotta figure out what the hell to do from here? Because it's, it's basically this car gotta be redid. So I don't know. I don't know what the, where we're gonna go from here with this build. Um, super discouraging that I was right at the end of this build when this happened, but hopefully I could get back in um, positive spirits very soon and do my best to attempt to work on this thing again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.